Hi, I'm Faye and I'm your secret ballet coach. Today we'll be doing a level one beginner ballet bar. During today's class, I will demonstrate each combination as well as dance it with you to the music on both sides. If any of these movements is unfamiliar to you, please feel free to check out one of the intro to ballet movement specific videos, giving you a full breakdown of that particular step. Most of all, have fun. To begin with warming up, start in parallel facing the bar. You have two sets of plie and releve. Plie, stretch, press and lower two times in parallel, then turning out into first, two times in first, plie and press, keeping your feet in first, reach up and over to the side and stretch, come up and open, reach up and over to the other side, stretch, come up and open. Then you start with your right foot, half point, to full. Now this is not pressing over and trying to increase range of motion in your toes. This is just articulating the various positions of your foot. So don't lean or put weight into your toes. Have demi point just to the top of your pointed toe. Demi and close. One time to front and press up. You're going to do that en croix, so front side, back and side. Half full, half down. One tendu, one press up. Half full, half down. One tendu, one press up. Half full, half down. One tendu, one press up. Then you're gonna repeat that section all on the left foot and at the very end, press up in first and find your balance. Okay, here we go. Now we're moving on to plies. With one arm on the bar, start with your feet in first position and your arm rounded in a low position. You have one demi plie in first, one press up, and one grand plie, taking four counts. And you're gonna repeat that again. Demi plie, press up, and grand plie, and come up. Then tendu to second, same thing in second. One demi plie, one press up, one grand plie, and again, demi plie, press up, and grand plie. Then tendu, close in front fifth. One demi plie, press up, and grand plie. Again, demi plie, press up, 
and grand plie. Then tendu back into first position, arm opens to the side. One porter bra all the way forward and reach out and up. Take your arm forward, head over your shoulder, small bend back and come up. Repeat that, reach forward and out and up. Arm forward, head over your shoulder, small bend back, come up and finish both arms low. Here we go. Next, we're gonna move on to our tendu from first. Now, in a lot of my intro and beginner classes, I recommend that these early bar combinations, you put your hand on your shoulder, just keeping the, the front point in your shoulder really lifted up so that your shoulder blades can lie flat across your back. So if you're working on your upper body alignment, I would recommend doing it here, but you are also welcome to keep your arm down or if you are wanting to challenge yourself, you can always do with full port de bras. To begin, starting in first position, you have tendu front and hold, and close and hold. Point front, plie on your standing leg, stretch and close. Same thing to the side. Side and hold, close and hold, side, plie allongé, stretch, Close to the back and hold, close and hold, back, allonge, stretch, close, then four plain tendus to the side, 
side and close with no holds, just nice and even. Three and four, then reverse the whole thing. Back and hold, close and hold, point back, L and J, stretch, close. Side and hold, first and hold, side, L and J, stretch, close. Front and hold, close and hold, front, plie, stretch, close, four plain tendus to the side on an even count and finish. A quick note for this allonge, you wanna keep that working leg completely straight, keep your hips square and you're just bending your standing leg and coming up. So your toes should slide slightly along the floor. J means to elongate. So you can think that the illusion you're creating is that you're elongating that working leg when you bend your standing leg and then it comes back when you straighten. But nothing else about the shape should change, just the standing leg bends. Okay, here we go. Next, we're gonna move on to fifth position. So putting one hand on the bar, place your feet in fifth. Make sure you're not forcing your turnout. Your big toe, pinky toe, and center of your heel should be flat and evenly weighted on the floor, and you should not be feeling pressure on the inside of your knee. If you do, unturn out a little bit and just work on rotating from the top of your leg to get that turnout, and eventually it will move farther to the side. Don't force your feet. All right, we'll keep our arm down for this exercise. You start with two tendus, front and close, front and close. One degage, and then just place it to coupe and return it to fifth where you started. Then to the side, side and close, side and close. One degage, shape that sur le coup de pied and close fifth, then to the back, tendu, Close, tendu, close, one dégagé, and coupe, and close. Then you're gonna go from coupe to retiré to passe, coupe, changing your fifth, and then back the way you came, sur le coup de pied, up to passe, through retiré, and coupe, close fifth. Then reverse the whole thing, starting in the back. Two tendus, and one dégagé, and Shape coupe, close fifth. Side, two tendus, one degage, and show 
So the coup de pied, close fit. Two tendus, one dégagé, shape that foot coupé, and close. Then moving from sur le coup de pied, retire up through passe, coupé to fifth, and reverse all the way up and finish. All right, here we go. Next, we're gonna do jeté with a pique hold. Putting your feet in fifth position. For this, let's put our arm in a la cone when we prepare. You have dégagé accent in and hold twice, then pique, hold it out, and close to the side. Dégagé accent in and two, pique hold and close to the back. Dégagé twice, pique hold, Close, then four quick piques, closing fifth to the side, pique and close, two, close, three, and four. To the back, dégagé in, and in, pique hold, close, side, in, in, pique hold, close, front, in, in, pique hold, close, pique side, close, two, three, four, and finish. Here we go. Next, we're moving on to our rond de jambes. 
Start with your feet in first position. Your arm prepares through en avant to O Sikon. You have one very slow run to jump point. Front and hold, carry side and hold, carry back, close plie. Do that again. Front, carry side, carry back. This time close with straight legs, then reverse. Back, carry side, carry front, close plie. Back, carry side, carry front, close first. Then do the same thing, but twice as fast. Front, side, back, plie, front, side, back, and close. Back, side, front, plie, back, side, front, close. Then with eight counts, you're gonna circle porter bra all the way forward, keeping your spine long, reach out and bend into the bar. Then reach up, small bend back, around the outside, return to the center, and then reverse. Reach away from the bar, up and to the back, into the bar, keeping your back nice and long, all the way forward, and come up. From here, take your foot to a small coupe front. You wanna make sure you're not sickling your foot or letting your heel drop back towards your calf, but keep your instep forward, towards the front of you and find our balance on flat in coupe to the end of the phrase and finish. Here we go. Next, we're gonna do fondues. Placing your feet in fifth position, you're gonna keep your arm down on the preparation, just open and return to a low position. Fondue and hold, bending both knees at the same time, and then stretch, place it back to fifth. Do that again, fondue hold, and stretch and close. Then using your arm, lift, and open them together, hold, show the tendu, close your hand with your foot. 
Same thing to the side. Fondue hold and close fifth. Again, fondue hold, close fifth. Then bend arm lifts with your foot, opens with your foot, hold, show the tondu, and close them at the same time. Then to the back, fondue hold, and close, fondue hold, and close. Bend, arm lifts with your foot, extends, point hold. And this time, instead of closing fifth, just leaving your toe on the ground, we're going to do a balance in tondu back, arms forward, hold to the end of the phrase, and open and close first to finish. Here we go. Next, we have frappes. Start with your feet in fifth position. For this, we're gonna put our hand on our hip just for simplicity's sake. For your preparation, you're gonna point side and bring your heel to your standing ankle bone, keeping your toes on the floor. And then right at the last minute, you just gently lift your toes off the floor, but you're not flexing it as hard as you can. It's more relaxed of a flexed foot. From there, you're going to strike the floor, pressing forward, out, and hold, and in, and hold. Then two quicker, out, and in, out, and in. To the side, out, hold, in, to the back, out. So you're gonna alternate front and back when you go to the side. Then to the back, hold, in, hold, back, and back. Just that side hold, in hold, side and side, close fifth and finish. Here we go.
Next, we have our petite butt lunge. Starting in fifth, and I would say keep your arm down for this, or if you'd like, you can put it on your hip or your shoulder, depending on what you're working on. For now, I'll just keep my arm down. To prepare, tendu side and place your heel at your ankle bone. Then keeping your thigh as still as possible and trying to keep the back of your knee relaxed, you're gonna start with half speed petit batmans a terre. So your foot's gonna stay on the floor on the ball of your foot. And you're just gonna slide out and back. And two, and you're gonna do eight of those. Then you're gonna lift your foot to a full sur le coup de pied and you're gonna go from coupe front and back eight times again, still half speed. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you're gonna drop that foot back to your starting position and you're gonna do eight counts, but twice as fast with your foot. So one count is gonna go back and front. So you have one and two and all the way to eight, then back to a full coupe and double speed for eight counts, and then finish in fifth. Here we go. on to our adagio. So today's adagio is a little bit more complex, but it's basically breaking down the pieces in a développé before you do a développé. Starting with your feet in fifth position, to prepare, let's take our arm forward and open to all cone. You have one retiré, close back fifth, another retiré, close front fifth, tendu front, keeping both legs straight, pick it up and hold, point and close. And you have a six count devil pay. One, two, three, four, five, close six, demi plie on seven and eight. And you're gonna repeat that all the way around, front, side, back, and side, so full en croix. So from the side, retire one and down, two, and down, tendu, lift, hold, point, close, six counts to développé, two, three, four, five, six, demi plié, seven, and eight. Same thing to the back and then one more time to the side. Here we go.
moving on to Gramba Mons. Placing your feet in fifth position, and today I would encourage you to do this one with your hand on your shoulder, really trying to feel that your shoulders stay square and that you don't push them forward or back or down to the sides in the effort to get your legs up. Your first step is tondu, then with nice oomph, you're gonna kick up, hold, lower tondu, and close. Then you have three grommet wands with no stops, just going brush, show the tondu, and close, three times, and then to the side. Side, up, and close where you came from for your first one, then brush, point, close, brush, point, close, brush, point, close. And you're gonna do that front, side, back, and side. So your first garment mod is broken down into four stops. Stop in the tondu, lift, kick, stop in the tondu, stop in the fifth position. Then the following three, don't stop other than the tondu. So you go brush to tondu and close three times. Here we go. For our last step at the bar, we're gonna work on some releves to strengthen our ankles and our feet and actually the upper part of our legs as well. So starting in parallel, you're gonna have two slow releves keeping your legs straight. Just press up and control as you come down two times slow. Then you have four at regular speed. One, roll down, two and three, and four. Then first position, same thing, half speed, lower, two times, and then four, one, and two, three, four. Then back to parallel with plie, releve and to plie, twice, then four, one, two, three, four, and first position, releve, plie, twice, and then four, regular speed, three, and four, and finish.
you had fun. Thank you so much for dancing with me today. If you liked today's class, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, if you have requests or comments, leave them below. And you can always email me at secretballetcoach at gmail.com. Until next time, keep it on the QT.